Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon open topped angelfish tank down in my fish room. And if you're wondering why the surface of the water looks so soapy and sudsy, that is because I just added a dose of ChemiClean. We are doing a treatment for the cyanobacteria. I actually saved the box this time just so I can put it there on camera. I do use the treatment for the red cyanobacteria, even though the cyanobacteria I have in this tank is the blue-green variety. The ChemiClean that is meant for the red cyanobacteria actually works very well for the blue-green. Uh, I also buy this because I can buy the larger size quantities. So this is a 6 gram container and it treats up to 900 gallons of water and I think I pay $22 for this or $18 for this. It's not expensive for the amount you get. You can do quite a few treatments on smaller tanks like this. Even my 125s, I can do several treatments on any of them for the amount of ChemiClean I get. It tends to last quite a long time. So the argument arises occasionally, or I should say the the discussion rises occasionally whether or not it makes more sense to get in there with the gravel vac and clean up the you know just physically remove as much of that cyanobacteria as I can prior to the treatment and then that way there's less of it physically in the tank to treat and that is a way of looking at it certainly and there are situations where I've done that sometimes it will just get so heavy in the tank that it creates a thick mat and it, may, it basically creates like a green carpeting in there and that's the way it was last time you can kind of see it a little bit in the back how it's starting to sort of sheet and grow on the ground you can even see a little bit of that red sign of bacteria starting to grow on that rock a little bit there too so it'll be interesting to see how that turns brown over the next couple of days but when it starts sheeting like that and you get it all over everything Sometimes it is a lot of it in there, and it does seem like it would make more sense to pull as much of it out as you can before doing the treatment. But at the same time, whenever you damage and disturb it, it releases, I don't know if it's enzymes or hormones or what it is, but it basically cranks its reproduction up into overdrive when it's being damaged and disturbed. That's why uh, occasionally you'll hear, you'll hear me joke that you make it angry when you get in there and disturb it. The same thing happens with algae. You get in there and you start scrubbing algae in your tank and you actually are probably doing more to spread it around your tank and cause it to breed faster by agitating it like that. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I'm never really sure whether I'm doing more good or harm by getting in there and vacuuming it out. The other aspect of that is if I'm going to go through the trouble of getting there and vacuuming everything out, I can get it mostly clean so that the tank looks pretty much done and I don't have to worry about it again. So if I'm going to do that, then why don't I just do that? I don't necessarily need to do the ChemiClean treatment. So in this case, I did that a little while ago. I even said at the time that the reason I was doing it was because I didn't have any ChemiClean at the time, and I may as well get in there and physically remove some of it. So it's only been a few weeks, and yet you can see it's already starting to come back to the point where it's noticeable and unsightly and that, you know. So I've got my uh, order showed up, so I've got my ChemiClean now, and today we're going to actually do the treatment. The other thing I always can't help thinking about when talking about, you know, manually removing the ChemiClean before doing the treatment, I'm sorry, manually removing the cyanobacteria before doing the treatment, to me is like the same mentality of making sure you get the house good and tidied up because the maid's coming over tomorrow. It, it, almost, it just doesn't make sense. Why is the maid even coming over tomorrow if you're going to clean the house first? You know, why put the ChemiClean treatment in there if I'm going to get in there? And that's the whole point of using the ChemiClean is so that I don't have to. I'm going to kill the stuff. I don't want to get in there and manually remove it myself or that's what I'd be doing. So more often than not, I just dose it with ChemiClean. And then when I'm done, I'll do a good vacuum and I'll gravel vac out the dead sign of bacteria and maybe find that I need to do one more dose to get rid of, you know, the last little bit of it or something. But for the most part... You know, using the ChemiClean is the easy, lazy way of doing it. It's inexpensive. It's cheap. Uh, I keep an air pump and an air stone set up all the time that's basically dedicated for this purpose. So when it's time to do a treatment on the tank, I just pull out my air pump and stone, 
and throw it in the tank. I let it run for, you know, five, ten minutes to get the air good or, you know, get the water as thoroughly um, oxygenated as it's going to be. And then I put the treatment in. After a couple days, we'll either call it good or we'll do another treatment. Either way, again, to me, that's the, the easy way of doing it, the lazy way of doing it, rather than get in there and trying to remove it all by hand. So... That's all we've got going on tonight. I will admit I've been a little motivationally challenged over the last several days. I've not really been in here doing much. I've not really honestly even been in the mood to get in here and shoot videos for the most part uh, the last couple of days. But I do want to make sure I get some of this on video before it's gone. Uh, I keep talking about my day lilies blooming down here and how beautiful they look. And this gives you a pretty good idea of it. So we're about halfway through. Uh, you can see this is yesterday's. I haven't actually gotten in here yet and deadheaded the old one out. By tomorrow, the three that you can see blooming will be gone. But this one, probably this one here, uh, those will be opening up and looking beautiful by tomorrow. So in another week to 10 days maybe, all of the buds that I've got on here are going to be done. And we're not going to have any more of the day lilies but while they're there i just absolutely love them that to me just looks so beautiful that's what i've always imagined when i think of my waterfall tank is something like that lush and green and as i've demonstrated before if we walk sort of on the side here get a little bit of that parallax it gives you more of a idea of how three-dimensional this pelodarium really is these day lilies stick out quite far from where the waterfall is established So all in all, I'm very happy with this whole setup. I always have been. Anybody that watches my channel regularly knows that I am absolutely in love with this waterfall. It's been a fun project all the way around. thought for a while I was going to have to tear it down and start over and do something new, but I didn't, and right now I couldn't afford to anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm glad I got to keep it just the way it is. So maybe once we get through this summer, see where we stand, and maybe we'll start thinking about doing something new for next summer. But we'll have to wait and see how this one goes first. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. So there you go. I guess we'll take one quick look over here at the New World tank from a distance. I don't want to walk over there and get everybody all excited because I have not yet, get, yet, not yet gotten in here to get everybody fed tonight. That was a tough sentence to get out. So there you go. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. You won't miss anything I've got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. Uh, I have these ups and downs, and sooner or later I'll be back in here shooting three, four, five videos in a day, and my mood will be better and so on and so forth. So hang in there. I know I'm going to, and I will see you real soon on the next one. Thanks for watching this one.